the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You've got a phone. Make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry. They do not tell us points paid, points received, or APRs. They tell us the calculated rates from actual locked loans with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. Where did they lock at yesterday? And it was an ugly day. 30-year conforming rates locked at 6.833. 30-year jumbo, 7.229. 30-year FHA, 6.65. 30-year USDA, 6.682. And the best loan on the market for those that earned it. Can't just apply for this one. The 30-year VA loan, 6.473. Now, we put out a market commentary every morning as time as early as the uh, markets permit. You can get that for free, rsrmarketminute.com, rsrmarketminute.com. You can sign up for that, as hundreds of other people have already done. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the markets today, though. We just looked at what was going on yesterday. The S&P 500 is now up 11 points. The 10-year treasury down 5 to 4.27. Mortgage-backed securities are up 18, which means when the bond goes up, rates go down. They're up 18 points as we speak right now. Why is that happening? We're going to talk about that right here, right now. Well, you know, trying these Federal Reserve people they try to, to curb the market and try and bring some calm into the market. You've got some of them that are always looking to raise rates, some of them always looking to look to lower rates. Well, we heard from Chicago Fed President Austin Goolsby made some dovish comments, which is, usually means he's favorite wants it to lower rates or to calm the market. So he made dovish comments in response to yesterday's hotter CPI inflation report. Goolsby said that higher inflation data for a few months would still be consistent with a path back to their 2% goal. He also said that the Fed focuses on PCE, not CPI, for their 2% goal, and PCE is running much lower. They have a smaller uh, weighting on housing in the PCE report than they do in the CPI report. He also said that he doesn't support waiting until inflation gets to 2% to begin cutting rates, and he feels it should be to, it should be to confidence that we are heading to 2% and is not worried about the blips. He also feels that the current policy stance is already quite restrictive. His comments had a bit of a calming effect. Zillow came out with their January housing report, showed that home prices cor- correctly in January were still moving at a good pace with average days on the market, 29. Those that are not priced or listed correctly are lingering, resulting in price cuts. However, the amount of homes with a cut is lower than it was last year. Still a lot of competition, 26.4% of the homes sold above asking price which is up 2.5% from last year and 8% from pre-pandemic limits uh, levels. I'm sorry. Inventory remains tight. There was an increase in new listings in January, like we see every year, but it was much less than we are normally accustomed to seeing. Total inventory is only up 1.5% from December and is almost 40% lower than pre-pandemic limits uh, levels. Uh, they didn't tell us, at least they didn't go into the, the median home prices and all that garbage that you know, kind of confuses people. Again, my friends at Chapman University talk about median home prices. And it's really just, the that tells us the mix of homes for sale. It does not tell us anything about home values, which every one of the charts that I've seen recently show home prices still going up and they're going up in a seasonal manner. That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. We're ready for that next home loan. Geneva's got the programs and the products You've got the phone, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.